Upram Nesara ni umur jiran abaduk jangka ribilan urusi sunak ulapai ha India mentah kasengi rengkat baga korim ke jengu manusia mentah ke jana jangka G20 Summit ke badlong hanang bat Delhi la syai bat la syisngi Masa mpoi ha India habakan pikilah patai khubar usunak ulapan pao ke jengsau sarong ba udai nakan niam Hindu namanal penihak pensan ni u hakan nikan niam Ulapan pao ke jengsau ngawu kiapat ba umi wak menrakhe bahaya karak cah bandhan ni usuk menpat bola yuk syubur ki jeng dan keti dan dikerakhi naki himan ki para ke jengu Lepas pagi jeng kemen rubah kini kesi kemeran ulak banyak lek banjengo nene banyak mani hakawi ni kibandir kibadan hapo India. Sunak ulak angguru bahagai jengge jadi kawi ni kibenta juga jeng embrio kebeerap. Nekam tak kembang kasalang bahagai juru kaji jeng jauh beri simet simet. Lapan kedua hang ni bahagai sunak udah kawi ni pening kini ram juga perthai. Pening simet tak kaji lang juga G20 summit. Kami sedang hendak bahagai dah lini luar syarikat kesi. about your roots you are connected to hinduism and you wear this you know rollies in your hands tell us something about it yes yeah, so i i'm 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 a proud hindu and that's how i was raised that's how i am um, hopefully i can uh, visit a mandir while i'm here for the next couple of days and yes we just had raksha bandhan so from my sister and my cousins i have all my rakhis and you know was, i we, i didn't have time to celebrate janmashtami properly um, the other day but hopefully as that i can make up for that if we visit a mandir this time but it's it's something that is important to me i think faith is something that helps everybody who has faith in their lives particularly when you have these stressful jobs like i do having faith to give you resilience to give you strength is important and we have seen some ugly scenes of Khalistani protests separatist protests how do you secure Indian interests and yeah. they are because this, this is a big huge issue yeah. between the two countries yeah it's a it's a we really some ugly scenes it's, it's an it's a really important question and let me just say unequivocally that no form of extremism or violence like that is acceptable in the UK and that's why we are working very closely with the Indian government to particularly tackle PKE pro Khalistan extremism i don't think it's right our security minister recently was just in india talking to his counterparts uh, we have working groups together to share intelligence and information so that we can root out this kind of violent extremism it's not right and i won't tolerate it in the UK so how do you taking place here in the backdrop of a conflict ukraine and russia conflict so uh, do you think it will cast a shadow and will it have an effect on the consensus building and the outcome? 
Well, first of all, thank you for the warm welcome. It's fantastic for me to be back in India. Obviously, it's personally very special for me to be here, particularly with Akshita, and we've thoroughly enjoyed the first few hours of our trip so far. And now, when it comes to Ukraine and Russia and the conflict, one thing I will be doing is highlighting that the devastating impact that Russia's illegal invasion is having on millions of people around the world, particularly on food prices. Uh, Russia recently has pulled out of a grain deal that was shipping grain from Ukraine to many poor countries around the world and now you've seen food prices go up that's causing suffering for millions of people it's not right and one of the things I'll be doing is making people aware of that impact of uh, Russia's illegal war it's a it's a great theme and actually when you say one family you know I, I'm an example of the incredible living bridge that Prime Minister Modi described between the UK and India you know that almost two million people like me in the UK of Indian origin so it's very special for me to be here as British Prime Minister, um, you know, in the country where my family are from. So, can you give us some sense? Can you tell us something about your equation with Prime Minister Modi? You have met him a couple of times now. Yes, and I have enormous respect for Modi ji, and he's been personally very warm and kind to me, and we're working very hard, as I said, on our shared ambition of concluding an ambitious and comprehensive trade deal uh, between India and the UK, because both of us think that would be a good thing, and both of us need to make sure it works for our two countries. And, and at forums like this, I'm very keen to support Prime Minister Modi in making sure that this G20 is an enormous success for India, which uh, I know it will be, and this has been... A Can you give us some sense of a connect with India, like your roots here? Well well, you know, obviously, you know, my, my wife is from here, from Bangalore. We got married in, in Bangalore. We used to spend lots of time together uh, be, before we had children in Delhi, and we're trying to figure out if we can go to one of our, our old favorite restaurants this evening. Um, but look, it's, it's personally incredibly special for me to be back in India. It's a country I love dearly, a country where my family are from. Uh, but to come here in this role, to represent the UK to find ways to forge closer links with India and play a part in making sure that India has an incredibly successful G20. And I'm very proud to see India doing so. Sir, how do you look at India in position on Russia and Ukraine? What? Well, it's, it's not for me to tell India it to what positions to take on international issues, but I know India rightly cares about the international rule of law, the UN Charter and respect for territorial integrity. I think those are things that are universal values that we all share. Uh, those are things that I believe, um, and India, I know, believes in those things too. Sir, 